All right, boys, have a seat. We need to talk about Chelsea transfer news. The window is about to close, so we're getting very close to the deadline. Some big names are still being thrown around at Chelsea, so stick around as we dive deeper into this. <clears throat> For those that don't know who I am, my name is Mike, huge fan of the best team in London, which happens to be Chelsea. If you agree with that, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below. I greatly appreciate that. Now, today's video, we're talking about Cristiano Ronaldo, Aubameyang, and Frankie de Jong, which again, I know this is kind of up there, and we also probably should talk about Wilfred Zaha as well. But first, let's talk about Ronaldo. Now, this player obviously still wants to leave Manchester United. He wants to play in the Champions League. And we saw Manchester United just sign Anthony from Ajax. So obviously, this is going to throw a whole mixture into the club itself at Manchester United and for Christian Ronaldo, which I don't see him coming to Chelsea yet, but it seems like he's trying to do everything he can to leave this club. And maybe he cuts his wages a massive amount it could be an option for Chelsea because right now we're looking at Aubameyang and I'm going to go back and forth between these two players. The fact is, yes, that Ronaldo's a lot older than Aubameyang. I think he's 37, Aubameyang being 33. But still, we know that Christian Ronaldo is a, just a goal scorer. He did it last year at Manchester United. Can do it, obviously, again, at Chelsea. We need a guy that can be a massive threat in our box because as we saw yesterday, and I'm going to talk about another video with Southampton match, but we just did not have anyone inside the box that really gave a threat at all for any crosses, any aerial duels, just nothing for the most part. Whereas Ronaldo can definitely do that. Now, yes, he does lack defense. We do know that, but right now we need someone that can actually find the back of that and score because our back line is pretty solid. Goalkeeper right now has been a little questionable, but still our back line is solid. So again, if we can start scoring more goals, that's going to take pressure off our defense. And I think Ronaldo can offer that. So again, whether we do offer something for Ronaldo, we will see. But again, with the window closing very soon, he might be a better option than Aubameyang. Because right now, Aubameyang, and I hate to say this, that there was a robbery at his house and therefore they broke his jaw because of this and just terrible news for this player but because of that he actually will not be able to play for at least a month if not longer and i have no idea what this will do to his mental capacity because really after something like that that could just throw off your entire game because again you're thinking that in the back of your head and that again can just add up with his playing style and eventually at some point may just show that he's not going to be able to have the mental capacity to score goals because at Chelsea you're not scoring goals you obviously are going to get berated by the fans the media and all this and that's just going to add more to the pressure to Aubameyang and therefore this might not be the best option yes I know we are very close to signing this player but still if we're to sign a player that's going to be injured what's the difference in the next couple of matches because then again we're going to be in the exact same situation no one's scoring goals we're losing games dropping points and again this could be a massive thing and therefore that's why i think ronaldo is the better option now on top of that there is wilford zaha but again i don't see crystal palace getting rid of their best player with the window being so close to being closed because if they do that they're pretty much shooting themselves in the foot for this season and therefore again i don't see them getting rid of zaha at this point in time so again that's why i didn't really want to talk about but the other one we want to talk about is frankie d young now again I, like i mentioned i'm going to talk about southampton in another video but what we saw is we need another midfielder and frankie yes i know it's been back and forth i think we just submitted a massive bid for this player most likely will get denied but still barcelona do want to get rid of this player and therefore if we offer them a massive amount of money this could maybe be the tipping point for him to actually leave barcelona and come to chelsea and play for us now again we do need some type of other midfielder whether it is frankie de Jong, we do need to pick up someone else before this window closes because as we saw yesterday we are just lacking midfielder depth and just the performance in our midfield has been atrocious to say the least and therefore frankie de Jong should be on the radar or or if not another midfielder that we can still bring in that would fit our system or fit Tuchel what he wants. But again, what we have right now is not working out and we need to bring more players in before the window closes because if we do not, it's going to be a long season this year for Chelsea. So that is all I have for you today. If you did enjoy this video, you know it's kind of gloomy. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below. I greatly appreciate it. And also comment down below what you think about these transfers. If we should bring one of these players in, if we should try to bring all of them in, or who you want to come in and who you don't want to come in. So again, I want to know what you guys think. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to watch this video here about Chelsea's future. I think you'll enjoy it as well. That is it, and I will see you next time.